BBK sort of ended on a very interesting note, and by interesting, I mean it sort of just fucking ended. Because really, the entire buildup of this episode really, even though that this is the finale, and I, and honestly, I'm not necessarily mad at it, but still, I do look at it and I'm like, well, that escalated kind of quickly, because. In this episode, we actually finally get the backstory as to why Ryoko is immortal. And the reason why she is immortal is because of one little fact. That is, she was dying of a of fucking anime disease. You know, the one that's the the one that is never explained, that is never given a name, and always kills teenagers like like um before they turn it turn 18 or 20 or some shit. But either way, when she was 16. Um, she was dying from anime's disease, and of course, Mikiwa in this case, um, fucking, um, Asuma's mother, like, um, pretty much mutilated Entei when she was riding in it one day, and stole the heart and then crushed it, even though, if you really think about it, it may have been, uh, it might have been wiser to actually have, have fucking told her that, instead of just chopping off the limbs, limbs of her fucking, like, like, um, BRNK, forcing her to feel all of that pain, and then sort of just crushing the heart so that, so that, like, she is linked to this robot so that she can live eternally, you know, living, like, in a very eternal hell while, um, uh, dealing with all these people who hate her, of course, because that's wise, and she could have told, told her that. Not nah, to mention, she also, like, imprisoned her for eight years, and then after those eight, um, um, uh, eight years of, uh, of imprisonment, just say, you know what? I'm about to go ahead and go up to Treasure Island. I'm going to set you free now. It's like, what the fuck? Like, none of this is really even justifying the fact that that, that, like, that was kind of a dick move to do. And honestly, she has the nerve to where that went, to where that once she stops most of the missiles, um... Uh, her, say her, Akihito, and of course, Zetsubi. Sorry about that. They all actually try to stop the, um, missiles and shit. And of course, um, I, f I forget what point that. Um, Arubarashi, he kind of gets cracked in the head by this. He got, he gets, he gets, he, he gets taken out by this, by this, by this Babuki heart user who's a, who's a super assassin. And he takes him out with no problem, so that's wonderful. But either way, she takes out some of the missiles, and because of that, she actually has a nerve to call Ryoko her precious friend, even though, well, I do, I, I will give her that. She did sort of stop some of the warheads and stuff, but right out, but right after that, it just kind of got really silly, or at least for that part, anyway. And it kind of fucking ends with, of course, Azuma saying he wants to save Ryoko, and I'm not sure if he does, but, but he does stop um, tre Treasure Island from fall from fucking crashing into Earth and destroying everything. So of course that is so of course that does end on a very high note. However, I don't. However, I don't really know what in the fuck this is sort of setting up because as the series kind of, well, it's kind of as these last few minutes were sort of end. It's like you I think that's um I think that's Ozma's sister and she comes in and she says that in the next series it's all it's all it's all going to be about her and what and what and what she was doing and they're adding it and they're throwing in way more BRNK users and I'm like what the fuck does any of this have to do? This is poorly set up and I don't know where where I don't know where any of these characters have actually come from or what they're planning on doing. Especially for this to be a 12 ep uh, ep uh, episode series. And the most important part of what I want to know about in the stupid ass series is what in the fuck happened at the very first half of the series when fucking Ozma and his sister and their father came down came down to earth and what and what in the fuck happened to them. I want to know that, but they won't fucking tell me. So it's kind of difficult to get fully invested as to what in the fuck is going on, but sister's safe, I guess. So I'll see you next time on the next John Grave show. And please enjoy the finale. I'll see you next time on the next John Grave show. Please keep watching anime, keep playing video games. Hey internet, how's it going? Did you like that video? Go ahead and click click over there up on the side and go ahead and check out way more of my videos and go ahead and show me all this crazy, crazy, crazy support. Important wish that I know that you would love to give me and I'm very, very, very happy about that. Also, for those out there who pretty much love 
read, go ahead and check out this book right here. It's called Ibarra by my good friend Deshaun R. Smith. And also my book's in the back of this, or at least the prologue anyway. And that uh, and that book is called Muhar Prophecy, a ghost story about, about ghosts and whatnot. Also check out our other book, Mizuki Lineage of the Dragon. And, uh, and also our very first book, Mizuki Dragon Warriors Volume 1. So yeah, go ahead and click on down there in the description. Go ahead and check that out. And pretty much you will get taken to Amazon where you can purchase this this wonderful beauty. So yeah, until then, I'll catch you next time. I'll see you next time, and thank you for all the uh, support. I'm out.